This week's Max script we're going to talk about is actually a utility, it's cool picker. So go to maxplugins.de and find yourself the proper Max version. Look for the cool picker and start downloading it. Once it's downloaded, you need to, of course, unzip it because it's a zip file. As you can see here, so it's cool picker. This is the zip file. It has a 32-bit, a 64-bit version, and it has its own help file. So that's also included. So that's pretty complete. Then you need to choose either the 32 or the 64-bit. I have the 64, copy it. So copy it and paste it inside your Max directory, which is here, of course. Plugins, uh, so program file, Autodesk, Max, Max Design, plugins. Dump it down here, and that's it. Now it's time to launch Max. Once you've done that, you can see, okay, this is the regular color picker we got. So here it is. And um, what you need to do is go to your customized menu, preferences, because now in here in the general tab, you now have not only the default color picker, but you also have the cool color picker. And cool it is. So change it to cool. Press the color again, and now you have a serious color picker. So if you go like this, you've got tries, so you can do the wheel, spilling wheel, select your color, whatever you like, and that's one. You can do it by plane, so you can go here, you all have all these different kind of color values, so RGB space, whatever kind of space you need. Um, you got all these settings down here to change stuff and to adjust it and finally you can even do a mixing So if you want to mix this color with this you do your left mouse button you start pressing it and start painting it and If there's a color you really like you can or you can either smudge it a little bit so using the right mouse button and if you really like, for instance, let's say this color, you use your middle mouse button, click, and it will be selected and you don't have to worry about a thing. So think about it because it's a real nice thing. Uh, it works really well and it gives you all the flexibility you need. So think about the next time when you look at your color picker, you might need this one. I guess you do.